Hello Taurus, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do another weekly love reading for you all. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and any other major placements in which you may have Taurus in your chart. Taurus, we're going to be looking at how you're feeling towards your person, how your person's feeling towards you, and the mutual energy between you both. This will not resonate with everyone out there, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it is simply not your story. So it's very important not to force it. Let's see. Woo. Mutual energy. Got it. Alrighty. I hope everyone is doing well, staying safe, staying healthy. I'm going to read this is you, Taurus. I'm going to read this is your person. Roles can always be reversed, so go ahead and flip it as need be. Everyone's situation will be different. Under the deck, we have the Four of Cups. So someone's in deep thought or someone is... I'm getting someone's like meditating or someone's in very deep thought or trying to figure out what to do about a certain situation. Okay, Taurus. Let me see if I can get this in a good way. Okay. Taurus, for you, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Wheel in Reverse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. So, I think some of y'all are wanting to work on your family or work on this connection here. I, I'm getting some of y'all may be um, in separation or not on the best terms, but I think you're really trying to make things work for your family or something or children or, or something like that. And you're wondering if it's worth saving or if it's even possible to save, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles, you see this is about family life, commitment, long-term, longevity, stable, stable home, stable money, stable income. But you see how he's working on it, right? And look at these little two min like I don't know if they're minions, but they're little monitos, right? They're little things. And if there's children, it's almost as if maybe y'all feel... Taurus, maybe you feel that this person brings you financial stability or at least financial assistance. And you're wondering if maybe it's worth fixing. Maybe it's worth fixing. Maybe I can work at it. Maybe I can fix it for, for the home, for the home life, for the stability. But I think that you've been working on this for a while because look at his arms. He's like super buff, right? I think that maybe you've worked on this for a long time and you're wondering... Should I continue working for this? Because so far, it hasn't really gotten me anywhere. All right? Some of y'all are... Some of y'all are expecting. Look at this. Some of y'all are expecting. Some of y'all could be expecting very soon. But some of y'all... I'm getting... Some of y'all are just amazing cooks amazing cooks or I'm getting some of y'all like our chefs and you're very loving and nurturing like you're very radiant without even trying to get ready or something like that but when this is in reverse it's the wheel of fortune right so this is bad luck this is no forward movement no luck moving forward right and it's kind of like some of y'all I feel have like all right I've been trying it hasn't worked do I continue trying? And I think that's what this is. The Four of Cups, remember under the deck is what you don't see coming, what you don't expect. The Four of Cups. And I think you're in deep contemplation like we've already tried this, you know, strike one, strike two, strike three. And now you're like one more chance. Is one more chance going to be what we need, what we, what we have to do? I think some of y'all are, are kind of conflicted. Because over here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, this is like wanting to come back in, right? Wanting to come back in. When this is upright, this is feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, possibly even moving out. I'm getting some of y'all moved out of the situation or moved out of the home. Some of y'all may be hurting for finances at the moment because maybe this person did bring 
more financial stability than you or or this person helped and you ultimately had more financial stability or something like that you know what i mean because tauruses are so abundant regardless right tauruses don't need anyone else's pentacles you all have it already but i feel like maybe you're having daydreams or you're having you're reminiscing is what i'm getting you're reminiscing about old times and i don't think that you feel that connection is there anymore but you're what look at the fire has died out the fire has died out but look at it's almost as if you're thinking and reminiscing like oh remember this remember that remember that I'm getting you're feeling like down. You're so conflicted, Taurus. Either you're really conflicted or you're feeling down or you're just reminiscing about older times that you think are gone. You know what I mean? But with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it's almost as if like you want to come back in or you want to go back or you want to relive these memories and try and make it work, right? And, and that's what's keeping you in this energy of maybe we can make it work. The Nine of Pentacles. This is singlehood. When it's in reverse, this is someone who is not single, right? Someone who's tied down. But I think it's kind of like Taurus, like you miss this person when you're apart, but when you're together, they drive you nuts or they drive you crazy. Like, look at her hair. Like you do a lot or something like that. I don't know. Like the, like you put in more effort or or you're the one that gets like, the rough end of the stick when you guys are together or something but in your person's energy they have the three of swords judgment in reverse two of wands and the ace of cups i don't know if your person made a mistake your person is heartbroken for sure they're heartbroken and they look right here the three of swords they're heartbroken this is also a third party i'm getting like you're still like they still want you around taurus they still want you around but they're heartbroken but they know you still care for them also or, or they know if they can call on you, you'll be there or something. Or you guys still hang out or, or hang around each other. I'm getting someone had to like leave home or someone had to move out of the home. You see, because that looks like the trail is going into this tree here and the little porch light is on. This person feels like they've lost you. In a sense, like they've lost you in a sense, like like you're gone. Even though you're there, they feel like you're gone. And they feel like it's like Yeah, it's almost like if they they're like revving. I don't know if y'all heard my neighbors, they're so annoying. I'm sorry, but they're always revving up their bikes or their engines and I just heard it. And it's almost like this person's like revving up their engine to go find you, to go get you, to go bring you home. I keep hearing that song by uh, Summer Walker and it's, I think it's called Deep. And in that song, it says, I wish I could call and come home. That's what I'm hearing. It says, trust me, I don't like being alone. I wish I could call and come home. This person either made a mistake or they feel like losing you is their worst mistake. You know what I mean? Like, like that was just, like it's something that's going to haunt them is what I'm getting. It's going to haunt them that they made a mistake because they're heartbroken right now. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. I don't know who was at my doorbell, but, um, or who was at my door, but they rang my doorbell. Um, let me fix the camera back. So, 
this person feels like right when the doorbell rang right at that point i'm wondering if this person it may show up to your home or may want you to come back home you know what i mean or may visit you to tell you how they feel or something either way there's something that they feel like they've messed up and now they feel like the decision is up to you and you're confused some of y'all have two children or there's two children involved or two and one on the way I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting that. I'm getting like. Some of y'all are very crafty. And I feel like some of you are actually like into magic or, or um, mystical or, or spiritual stuff. You know what I mean? But either way, it's like this person feels, your person Taurus feels like you have the decision right now. You have the say so. Like it's on you. And they feel like the old version that they had of you is up in flames. They feel like now you're a new person and you're feeling better and you're okay on your own. That maybe you maybe you don't want to go back. You know what I mean? And, and they're feeling like maybe it's possible that you've lost, they've lost your love. You don't care anymore. And they feel like you've lost your, that you've lost the love you had for them. I'm getting someone took someone for granted. You know what I mean? But in the mutual energy, we have the seven of pentacles in reverse and the six of swords. And I think you kind of both know that this situation is kind of sailed. It's kind of sailed or you need to keep sailing, right? Because the seven of pentacles means not putting in any effort, time, or energy. There's a bit, someone's definitely going to have a baby or someone has a child, like a young one, like a toddler or an infant, or there's a baby coming. And for some of you who, who are expecting, I feel like it's like, it doesn't matter if we're bringing in another child. I, I don't want to deal with this connection anymore. Or, or it's just, we can't be romantic in a connection anymore. Or something like that. And I feel like the majority of you, as well as your person, know that you're ready to move forward. You're ready to move on. And you're ready for smooth sailing away from this connection or from this person. I'm getting a lot of you have transformed. Like... Like you were sleeping on yourself, you know what I mean? Like you were sleeping on yourself and now you've grown and you're like, what the heck was I doing? I deserve better. I need something better. You know what I mean? Let me get some love messages for you. If this message is resonating, let me know. Um, for those of you who are wanting to book a private reading with me, you can. My Etsy and my email is in the description below as well to purchase all my Oracle cards and how to donate a deck or donate to the channel. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe. I would absolutely, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let's see. Ooh, I talk to people about you. So Taurus, I feel like this person's talking about you or you're a little bit confused and you're talking about this person to people. Like you're, you're, you're getting people's input or feedback the wrong time. And you're wondering if maybe it's the wrong time to continue this or is it the wrong time to leave this connection? I'm sorry for betraying you. There was definitely some betrayal here. Someone definitely did something because that's clarifying your mutual energy. Give me for a Taurus this person. Ooh, stalker. Okay, this person is keeping their eye on you, Taurus. So just be careful, okay? This person is watching what you're doing, who you're talking to, what you're, who you're spending time with. I'm scared, so I hold back. I don't think this person has expressed how heartbroken or how hurt they truly are. But I think they're trying to pull you back into something very toxic or a very toxic connection. I'm getting this person is a little bit possessive. Under the deck, we have head games. So just be careful. That's what I have for you, Taurus. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love y'all so much, and I will talk to you soon.